Hi everybody, welcome back to what is a uh, slightly different thing for for Sunday for me. Uh, this is um, Life in the Woods Renaissance with me, Sid. But we're not playing the game. I am going to show you how to move Life in the Woods Renaissance from the Life in the Woods Renaissance launcher into multi Minecraft, um, and it is fairly simple. So you are going to need to start off with an install copy of Life in the Woods Renaissance. You're going to need an install copy of Multi Minecraft, and you are going to have to create a copy of uh, Minecraft, which is 1.710 Minecraft with nothing else installed. Once you've got all that lot, uh, we are going to go and hit play on Life in the Woods. And it's going to tell us a whole load of stuff. There should also eventually be a uh, piece of information coming up here. Let me just bring the I don't know what it is with my system, but it doesn't matter which monitor I run the launcher on, the Minecraft will automatically launch on the opposite monitor. And uh, yeah, I've never managed to get it to behave. So here's my life in the woods, lo lo launching very slowly. Of course, you can't tell how slow it's gone because, um, yeah, it's an old version of Forge, which means that, oh, there we go, it's up and running. So straight off the bat, you can get the information for what version of Forge you need from the screen. It's here, Minecraft Forge version 10.1.3.2.1230. And it's telling you there's a new, a new version. There are many new versions available. This version of Forge is dog old. Um, you can also see it here in the um, launcher window. So we need to know it's 1.2.3.1.2. 1230. Let me just stop with the points. So what we're going to do first things is we're going to edit the instance of this one and we're going to install Forge and we are going to go 1.2, sorry, 1230, oh, that one. And we are going to close it uh, and then we are going to pop back to config and we are going to copy this section here. Uh, we're going to go back into the instance, we're going to go to settings. Now you could set the memory settings there, but it may be easier just to do this. So Life in the Woods is quite clever in that it actually looks at your system and works out a set of Java arguments, or the launcher is, shall we say. Um, so we'll close that. Uh, the dedicated boxes, your manual settings, this message will be displayed until you think so. You're going to get this error for starters. <laughs> So, yes, we're going to go back to the edit things. We're going to look at the settings. We're going to jump to there. Now, personally, what I would do is keep those arguments. I would then go and set these where you want them. I tend to do that. I've got 16 gig of RAM, so I tend to use a reasonable chunk of it for Minecraft. Run that up, and it should start off, and eventually we will get a forge Minecraft instance with 1.1230 oh build on it. Let's check that this all works. And we there we go. 1230 oh, is Minecraft Forge, blah blah blah. All done. So we can kill that and we can go away with that. We are done with that particular item. So the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get a explorer window open and you are going to go into percentage user profile percentage and that will give you a big mess of folders if you're anything like if your machine's anything like mine we're also going to open the instance folder for this and we're going to pop you on that side so we've got two things uh, on the instance folder we're going to minecraft and we'll see you've got mods configs usual stuff you expect on this side, the folder you are looking for is this one. It's .litwrl. So you go into there. You'll see several folders. You want games, um, assuming you've run it once, of course. And depending on which version you're running, whether you're running basic or hungry, go into that folder. So that's where we're going. And we're starting to look similar. So let us take, we're going to want to copy config. We're going to want to copy mods. Hold control, count, the control key down to multiple select if you weren't aware of that one um, I imagine you were most people are these days we're going to take shader packs take options as well 
and take option shaders because that will copy the configs that Fedrin has already set up for this system. So we're going to copy that, we're going to paste it over here. We are going to do that, so it does. We're going to skip forge, we are going to skip forge chunk loading. That's just my personal preference. I don't like overwriting the forge configs that multi minecraft has set up with the different systems if we've done that we can get rid of all of that and then we're going to run life in the woods i do like to keep this window open it does give you an idea of what's going on if anything's going to go wrong and let us just drag this over here once it's ready come on say window opens on the wrong thing every time a single time um, and then eventually, once it's caught up, it always amazes me with Minecraft loading screens just how many errors there actually are in a working installation of Minecraft. <laughs> it's quite scary. So that's loaded, we've got 45 mods, it's all there. If we go single player, create new world, we'll just... Oh, we were in biomes of plenty, okay. That's why I take the options over, because it defaults a lot of the uh, settings. Build this screen and we are done. Everything is good and uh, happy. Now if you've been playing Life in the Woods in the previous version, you will also need to take your saves folder over from the .litwrl folder to the new folder. Um, so don't forget that, otherwise you're going to be uh, be very surprised when, uh, when you think that. Well, I don't know why it is with, um, you have biomes are plenty. Uh, and I always seem to spawn in a really boring biome. <laughs> Actually, no, I can't say that. So I did have the penguins on the uh, on the first one. Um, so yeah, well, hopefully that was useful to you. Um, if you do want to update the mods, then uh, that is a little bit more painstaking. It, oh, it's a hell of a lot more painstaking. Um, the best advice I can give you is to do everything one mod at a time. Um, verify it works. Once you've verified it works, go back, do another mod, verify it works, and so on and so forth. And as I say, there are 45 mods, so it's probably going to take you a good hour or so, maybe two hours to do that, and you will have failures. Don't be afraid to take a step backwards. That's an important one. Um, and yeah, enjoy. Until next time, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you soon. And bye for now.